So one of the things we do on a daily basis is engine checks and we uh, follow a mnemonic or I do, it's I wobbled you, okay? So we have isolate, that's isolate the engines, we've got engine batteries down here, we take them off and then we can uh, to start the engines while we're in here. We have water, we have oil and that includes the lubricants for the gearbox or any other lubricants that it needs. We have belts, so all the belts, the water pump belts, the fan belts. Um, we have the bilges, so in the bilges we check for any, any leaks. Um, and then we have uh, L, we have everything leading to and from the engines. And then we have E, is engine mounts. We have D, diesel, we've got enough diesel, plus 20% for any trip that we're doing. And then U is unisolate, then we can start the engines, make sure they're running up and the water's coming through the system. So that's a little way to check all your engines. So, okay, if we start from the beginning, like with I, what we need to do is firstly isolate these engines. So when we're fiddling around with the belts and got our, ourselves over and around the engines, no one will start it and we get to keep all of these. So these are both isolated. So Tori and I have got to get on with these engines. So here I'm checking the coolant and the level of the coolant. This is part of water. There's a few bits that we uh, that we do check in the water. That's turn the, uh, uh, the sea strainers off. And we're checking the sea strainers. We check that the coolant level's all right. And then once we start the engine, we make sure that the water is running out of our exhaust. It means that the loop is getting cool, uh, cooled around the engine with the raw water. Uh, this is all coolant. I'll make, make sure I put this top back on properly. So. Oil. So here I'm checking for, uh, I'm checking to make sure it's a, a nice, decent colour. So if it's uh, if it's white and milky, it means it's got water in it. I'm making sure we've got enough. That's uh, that's definitely what we need to do. And the uh, viscosity in it, so it needs to be a little bit snotty, and that it's got no uh, like iron filings in and stuff like that. So that seems to be all good. I'm checking the belt here for the correct belt tension. The correct tension in, in, on average for uh, a lot of boats is that if you can get the belt and you can twist it 90 degrees, uh, that's good tension. If it won't go 90 degrees, it's uh, it's too tight. And if it goes more than 90 degrees, it's too slack, as a rule of thumb. But this one's good. Yeah, so here I'm checking the bilges. Uh, the, the bilges will tell me if I've got any leaks, whether it's water, oil, fuel, anything like that. So. Uh, Check down there, we've got no new new leaks or, or anything, so we're all good on that. Okay, uh, E, engine mounts. Uh, so I'm looking and making sure that none of the bolts have, have come undone. Everything's all as it should be. Changed a few on the back here. So I'm gonna check to the other side a minute ago. So she's all good and uh, she'll keep her in the right place. So D, diesel. We've got diesel uh, gauges here for our tanks. We we'll just make sure we uh, we check the tanks and we we'll check that they're full and we've got enough fuel. So we don't want to be running out of that. Okay, so we've done the engine checks. We've made sure we've got everything all perfectly and ready to go. We've unisolated the batteries. Now what's left to do is to start the engines and do our final little check. Remember right at the beginning when I said water, there's something at the end. This is the part. So we've got to turn the port engine on first. We'll turn the key and we've got to give it a start. Engine's nicely started up. Now we need to see that the water is running through that engine. So if you want to come with me and look over the side. Okay. Just down the side midship, near Spirit's uh, orange ball, you can now see that the, uh, the water's running through the engine. So that's raw water. We'll let that go through for a minute and we'll make sure that's going. We can do the starboard engine now as well. So, same process. Just give a little turn. Push the button. She's all, she's all started up. And we look down, starboard side, and all that and her water's flowing through. So we know that the engine is getting cold. And we can go on with our journey now. Now, if we weren't going to go anywhere, we'd turn the engines off, shut them down, but at least we know we're ready to go. Okay, but we are going to set off now. So we'll see you soon.